Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Games and Things. When it comes to creating a man cave or an entertainment room in your home, trust these guys first. Get by Games and Things, Level Road, Kingston Pike Corner there out in West Knoxville, or visit them online at OurGameRoom.com. The showroom is spectacular. Anything you need, pub tables and bar stools, poker tables, air hockey tables, pool tables, home theater seating, you want it, they got it. Games and Things. Go by and visit them this week. Okay, on Thursday, and I'm going to quickly read through this book here. On <laughs> Thursday, the College Football Playoff Subcommittee let the world in on some expansion possibilities they are considering. Once they take these and say yes to them, it's going to have to be approved through 14 different groups, et cetera, et cetera. Probably wouldn't happen for another two or three years anyway, but here's what they're talking about. Expansion from four teams all the way up to 12. I think a lot of us thought eight, but they're talking mm -hmm. 12. The 12 would include the six highest ranked conference champions, and then the six highest ranked remaining teams. So if you're thinking, well, why not just take all the conference champions? That's not part of it. There are no limits on the number of teams from a conference. So good thing for the SEC, they could have four teams in there. Uh, no automatic bid for any conference's champion, which means if, an, if a Pac-12 champion isn't ranked in the top six, they're not guaranteed to make it. I'm surprised by that. That's the biggest surprise for me. Top four conference champions would get a bye, okay. First round would be 12 versus 5, 11 versus 6, 10, 7, 9, 8. First round games would be played at the higher seeds stadium. Okay, now I'll get back to that in a second. Quarterfinals and semifinals would be at bowl sites, just like the semifinals are now. And the championship game would be hosted by the city that bids the most money. The interesting thing about the first round games, and you know, teams number 5, 6, 7, and 8 would get home games which you would think teams one, two, three, and four would really want. Teams five, six, seven, and eight would get the experience of a home playoff game and all that revenue, the, the gate. Now maybe they'd have to split it somehow, but still, that's a pretty big bonus. It's led people to ask the question, well, if you're the number four team, would you prefer just to be viewed as the number five and get that extra home game and pass the buy? Interesting stuff. There are a lot of different takes on this, and we're going to spend a couple of segments talking about it. But let me just get your first reaction. I'll start down there with Chuck. First reaction is to what you saw with the 12-team playoff. Well, th there's some of that you like, but, I mean, again, it's all about money. I mean, you're, to me, you're coming closer to trying to copy the NFL. And, and I, I, like you kind of mentioned, John, I wonder why you jump when you say four. It's not that you're getting it wrong. It's just like the same old teams are in there. You know, it's, it's going to be Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State. So at least you're, it, this is going to be more inclusive. But I, I don't really see the need to jump to 12, and that's what they're talking about. But I think there are some intriguing as aspects of that that make sense. Well, the interesting thing is the semifinals have all been blowouts for the most part. Exactly. I don't think – I wanted a playoff and wanted to get rid of the BCS. In hindsight, the BCS was fine because all you needed was two. Basically, you needed a three-team playoff. Yeah. There's usually a third team that has a, has a complaint. And that's about it. But the trick is, coming out of COVID, I think that's why they're going to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, David, your thoughts on this? Were you surprised by what you saw? Uh, well, no? the 12 has been kind of rumbling for a while, but, it, man, it feels like a lot. 12 feels like Big a jump. lot of teams. And, I, you know, I'm a college football fan, so I'm going to watch every one of these games. Right. I'm going to love watching these high-stakes games. I don't know that all the fans will. And I, I think, you know, my colleague Stuart Mandel wrote this week, this is going to be a fundamentally different sport. I don't know that fans, the playoff didn't fundamentally change the sport. It, this is. What will the impact be on the regular season? I, I don't know. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm a little as, as a little nervous. I'll say that. I, I, it's, it's, it's just th there has not been a change this uh, drastic. drastic and impactful in the sport ever in this. You, you could make the case, though, that you got three of them at once. Yeah. Because you've also got name image likeness money coming in the transfer into the portal as well. mm -hmm. and the transfer portal yeah. plus this. Dan Mullen said just with the other two that it's going to change the game. It's not going to be the same game in five years. You throw this into it, I think your buddy Stuart Mandel is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, your thoughts, Jimmy? Well, it, to what you said about COVID is the same thing I had said. Because of COVID, I think there are more schools that lost money, so they're now trying to figure out how to recoup it. And this contract that they have right now for the 14 that goes for 12 years, I don't see that. I think you've got maybe another – what, two years, two years of, the con of the current deal, and then they're going to go to 12. I'm in David Ovens' camp from this perspective. I love college football, so if you give me some more games, I'm going to watch them. Will everybody watch them? I don't know. I do think it, you pointed out, John, that there are very few semifinal games that are real close. Well, if you've got this many teams and you're matching 
uh, the five, six, seven, eight yeah. seeds against the nine through twelve, you're going to have some good games. You're going to have some close ones. You may still have some blowouts, but I'm fine with watching a lot more college football. I'm okay with that. But this is, as Chuck said, it's financially driven. This is they're going from making what 470 million dollars a year. This is going to be a multi. This is going to be at least a billion a year, I would think, right? Yeah. So, and that's going to allow people to recoup it, and it gives you the access to some of the group of fives that have been complaining. That, that's I, the, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say that. The, you will have better games, but my point with the semifinals is uh, college football has been the one sport, and there was always griping that you could split the championship between two teams back before you, you know, the old way. Yeah. But still, you pretty much always knew there was no Cinderella that won the national championship in football. Now, Georgia Tech mm -hmm. could rise up and have a great year, but it wasn't like they just got hot in December and made it into a playoff mm -hmm. and then hit the right games. and got. You're going to have that now. So if, if you get into the, the playoffs you have now and the semifinals aren't good, that tells me these other teams weren't deserving to get there. And if, if four teams aren't deserving to get there, I really don't think Team 12 is going to be deserving of a national title, even if they win the thing, in my view. But I, I would be one of the first, I think, in looking at it and, and even taking that into consideration. I don't really – I don't know if four is enough when you look at it and you've got five power conferences. Depends on what you're looking for. Exactly. If you want the a true national champion, it's enough. Well, but I don't know if four is enough, but I think 12 is too many. If you want money yeah. and, and TV games, yeah. it's not enough. Well, I think you get into the whole word deserving in general, which is like carrying a lot of weight that at is. that point. And I think like the best thing I like about the 12 is access for the smaller yeah. uh, conferences because it is nakedly stupid, wrong, indefensible that you can start a season and win all your games and get no opportunity to play for it. That's been wrong yeah. forever. It's been wrong now, and it's, it's somehow got worse in the playoff system that you had less of a chance in the playoff than you did in the BCS to even play for it. And that, the UCFs, the you know, TCUs in the Big 12 now, but you know, the TCUs, the Utahs back in the day, Cincinnati. the Boises, the Cincinnatis, they'll at least get to prove it. And in, that is the best thing right. about the in system. In this plan, last year, Georgia would have been at Cincinnati in a first round game. Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Spicy team. I also wonder, and this plan has clothes on it. It's not naked. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I wonder, I wonder what it's going to do for the secondary bowls. Not the bottom rung bowls that are all the made for TV events for the non-Power 5 schools, but the SEC secondary bowls. Like, f people still go to the Tax Slayer Bowl. They still go to the Music City Bowl. If they're now getting the seventh or eighth SEC team instead of the fourth or fifth SEC team, I don't know that those bowls survive in their current level. Is, it, is it too callous to say I don't care? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, again, we're all over the map. I mean, I just want more games, yeah. but I don't care about these games. I don't yeah, care I don't. about the bowls. It's been a uh, naked money-making venture with well, fancy blazers. I wish I was a bowl okay. exec. Don't get me wrong. Best job maybe in sports. But I just, the bowls, you know, the Godspeed, but the, yeah. the well, citrus bowl can cram me a river. I just, it doesn't oh, do I'll tell you what, Go ahead, quickly. Just said I think some of those bowls, they, beca they became less important with the national championship game. Yeah. They will become even less important yes. as we go forward. Mm -hmm. And more kids will opt yeah. out. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, when we come back, let's continue this conversation. But also, we got stuff coming up in terms of Nick Saban sticking around. Is that necessarily as bad as it looks? We'll discuss. And then also, changes the ball network. Come on back on the Sports Source.